Right now, as election campaigns heat up across the country, one of the biggest topics for candidates this year is abortion. We look at the impacts it could have on the race for Senate right here in Wisconsin. Also, a second recall attempt on Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. What the Wisconsin Elections Commission found in its final review. And later, the Capitol undergoing a little bit of maintenance right now. We'll meet the people behind the project that's taking them to new heights. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. We are already starting to see the campaign season start to get into full swing. Among the headlines we will continue to see throughout the summer are candidates' stances on abortion. Political reporter Will Keneally has more on how this will impact the U.S. Senate race. Well, among the Republicans at the top of the ticket for the Wisconsin ballot is Eric Hovde. He's challenging Tammy Baldwin for a U.S. Senate seat. And he caught up with reporters about where he stands on abortion. Obviously, I want anybody that wants to have a child to have a child. Republican U.S. Senate candidate Eric Hovde is hoping to unseat Democratic U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin this year in a campaign which will be dominated by the issue of abortion. I believe in exceptions. I believe in the beauty of life. I think women early on in a pregnancy should have a right to make a choice. But I think there is a point where once a baby can be born healthy and alive, that's unconscionable that that baby could be terminated. For her part, Baldwin is among a group of Democratic senators pushing for a national abortion protection. The hard right uh, uh, finally got their way and overturned a nearly 50-year precedent, stripping away a woman's constitutional right to an abortion. Baldwin and Hovde are running on the same ballot as the presidential candidates. Earlier this month, Trump gave his endorsement to Hovde in that Senate campaign. Eric, I am giving you my complete and total endorsement. So go out and win. Go out and win. And this comes at the same time former President Donald Trump has made public his stance on abortion. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law. Since Roe v. Wade was overturned, states have set a patchwork of different policies on issues like abortion and raised questions on whether birth control could be next on the chopping block. If a woman wants access to birth control, get access to birth control. I have no problem with that. So now, where do we stand uh, here in Wisconsin on abortion? A Dane County judge ruled that the 1849 law that was used to block abortions in the state after Roe was overturned, that law does not apply. Abortions have resumed at Planned Parenthood clinics in Wisconsin since last year. A Madison man will spend several years in prison for firebombing the office of an anti-abortion group. Today, a federal judge sentenced Harindu Roy Chowdhury to seven and a half years in prison. In December, the 29-year-old pleaded guilty to using Molotov cocktails to cause smoke and fire damage at the north side office of Wisconsin Family Action. The firebombing came six days after a draft of the U.S. Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade was leaked to the public in 2022. Roy Chowdhury was arrested in March of last year when investigators matched his DNA and other evidence to the incident. Well, another beautiful day to be outside. Let's check the first warn forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Hi, Alex. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Eric. Yeah, after the show, we should get outside and enjoy this. 66 degrees, calm winds. Whenever you can have calm winds in the springtime, because it's usually breezy, it helps get us from one temperature extreme to another. You really should enjoy the calm winds, and it's going to be a gorgeous night tonight. We got 69 in Middleton, 70 in Cross Plains. I mentioned yesterday, if we got a little bit of extra sun today, wouldn't be shocked to see some 70s and we do have another 70 out there 71 in Boscobel. Low temperatures tonight, very mild for this time of year in the middle to upper 40s. Clouds will be on the increase. Not expecting rain tonight, but that will be a different story for your Thursday. We were mentioning that rain showers will be a possibility on your Thursday. They're still in the cards, but not for everyone. They will be scattered. We'll track that together here coming up in Maine weather. Let's see, though, when those rain chances will be the highest for Madison, though. Not at 6 a.m. on your Thursday, but by the time we get into the afternoon on your Thursday, Thursday going into your Thursday evening. That's the best time, the best chance when you can expect to get wet here in Madison. Then those rain chances go away as we go on into your Friday. But we're going to trade Friday in from the rain to dry conditions and really, really breezy weather as well. Coming up in Maine weather, we'll track hour by hour when the showers increase, when they peak, and when the strong winds will start.
All right, Alex, thank you. Now to an update out of Janesville. A man is now in police custody after threatening his sister, police say, with a gun. Officers were called to a home on Excalibur Drive about 9 this morning. That's when the suspect barricaded himself inside the home. The SWAT team was then called in. Roads around that home were closed off, and after some negotiating, the suspect surrendered. He was medically evaluated before being taken to jail. The suspect now facing a number of charges. To Milwaukee now, where friends and family are searching for answers to the whereabouts of a 19-year-old woman who went missing last week. Sade Robinson went missing on April 1st. Her disappearance comes the same week as investigators found a human leg in a Milwaukee County Park. A man being held in connection with the human remains appeared in court yesterday. Authorities have not officially connected the body parts to Robinson, but the family of Sade Robinson was in the courtroom. Always laughing, smiling, making the customers feel like welcomed and the employees welcomed and just like always lit up the room. She is somebody that is very special, you know, and I hope we can find some answers for her. Despite not being charged, the man is being held by the court for probable cause he committed a crime. The court granted a request by the prosecution to extend the probable cause hold on Anderson for 72 hours. The second attempt to recall Republican State Assembly Speaker Robin Voss has failed. That's according to the findings of the Wisconsin Elections Commission. In its final review, it found the organizers failed to get enough signatures to trigger a recall. The effort was further complicated by concerns over which district maps would be used in any recall. The staff review found that didn't matter which maps were used because organizers simply didn't have enough signatures. The recall has been backed by former President Trump, who has resumed his criticisms of Robin Voss over failing to impeach elections official Megan Wolf. When Madison's most iconic silhouette and the skyline gets work done, you can't miss it. And crews are currently providing maintenance to the Wisconsin State Capitol Dome, which will cause part of the observation deck to close off this summer. Our Catherine Merck takes us to the tallest building in the city to show us the people behind this project. They say you never really get to know someone until you look at things from their point of view. For this job at the state capitol, it might be one of the more unique perspectives to understand. You can see both of the lakes and uh, get a great view of the city. When working on maintenance at the Wisconsin state capitol, Steve Walker says it can be a little bit nerve wracking when on assignment this high up. Uh, when I first started, we have four flagpoles, one on each wing of uh, the capitol. I assisted the painter in refinishing those. so. Uh, that got me scrambling up some scaffolding. Uh, took a while to get my sea legs. For the current project at the Capitol, the reason for the bird's eye view is for the birds, literally, not figuratively. This project is meant to replace the existing bird netting and also clean our Bethel granite along the stone here. The last time the netting was replaced was back in 2000. The Department of Administration is working with an outside contractor for the routine polish of the People's House. You have to uphold the appearance of this historic building. The crews take themselves to new heights for their career, which might be scary to some. Fear of heights is, is not uh, conducive to a career in maintenance. You had people looking up and pointing at you all the time. From Steve Walker's perspective. It's always a new adventure. The nice view is just an added perk of keeping this beloved building in pristine condition. Myself and the people I'll work with take a lot of pride in working at this building because, I mean, it is the most iconic building in the city, if not the state. So uh, every day we come in, we're all very aware of that. About a quarter of the observation deck will open back up to the public on May 4th, and then the scaffolding will come down when the project is expected to be completed in the fall of this year. Reporting in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. Still headed six, the U.S. Postal Service recommending new stamp prices this summer. Also, why millions of people could lose access to affordable high-speed internet by the end of the month. We'll be right back. Watching News 3 Now at 6, brought to you by Ruber Law Offices. Every single day, we help families that have been tragically impacted in truck crashes. And you'll never pay us a fee until we win your case. Truck crash? Ruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Win a hand-paid jackpot at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells, and you'll have a chance to win a new Corvette and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Drawings, going on now at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. 
Get solar and get saving with Olson Solar Energy in the Madison area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olson Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you or give us a call and ask us about our Earth Day promo. Habitat homes are not free. They're built and bought by hardworking families just like yours. Families with jobs, dreams, and a strong determination to create a better future. With stable homes, they can invest more in their health, education, community, and beyond. <sighs> I want fresh air. <laughs> You need the experts. Right now at Felco, get free installation, plus no interest for six years. Call 866 for Felco. Win a hand-paid jackpot at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin, Dallas, and you'll have a chance to win a new Corvette and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Drawings going on now at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin, Dallas. From damaging drought to catastrophic flooding and severe storms in every season, the News 3 Now First Warn Weather Team gives you a deeper understanding of Wisconsin's ever-changing weather with special reports that go beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. The price of a postage stamp could rise once again in the next few months. The U.S. Postal Service filed a notice with the Postal Regulatory Commission. The post office is recommending raising the price of first-class mail forever stamps from 68 cents to 73 cents. Stamp prices already increased this year in January. If the change is approved, it would take effect on July 14th. Millions of low-income Americans could soon lose most of their government benefit for high-speed Internet. The Affordable Connectivity Program, or ACP, is set to run out of funding by the end of this month. Congress has not yet approved new funding for the program. The ACP provides monthly $30 discounts on Internet service for low-income households. The FCC is ordering Internet providers to begin informing customers about the potential end to that program. City of Madison no longer accepting volunteers for its new State Street painting project after an overwhelming response. City now closing those applications. As of this morning, more than 600 people had signed up to leave their mark on State Street. The city planning a painting project to go along with a test of a State Street pedestrian mall. Now the city is releasing plans for how those volunteers will help. So they've split up between two shifts set for Sunday the 21st. The first group will begin at 10 in the morning, paint until 1 p.m. The second group will start at noon and go until 3 p.m. A sign that summer is right around the corner coming up when the famous Sunburst chairs are scheduled to return to the Union Terrace. Plus one of the most famous butterfly species is migrating to Wisconsin. Uh, you can help the UW-Madison Arboretum keep track of their numbers. Then we could be in for some rain tomorrow. Alex will tell us how much we can expect in his complete forecast when we come back. And an 11% rebate on backyard storage. Now at Menards. Suncast resin storage sheds are easy to assemble and low maintenance. Get a Cloverdale 7x7 storage shed for $749.99 after rebate. Metal sheds from Aero Storage Products are strong and made to last. This 12x12 classic shed offers a tall roof for extra storage and headroom. Right now, just $899.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Stockberry Healthcare is here to help. To help with your shoulder pain, your knee injury, that hip that bothers you, with your foot or ankle pain. We focus on quality. We focus on results. And take time to listen. So that your care is the best care. For you. 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 For you. We're here for you. Sauk Prairie Healthcare Orthopedics. Listening, healing, caring. It's in our nature. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today.
Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. I worked as a truck driver for 36 years. And then one day I got this letter. Your retirement will be cut. Will be cut in half. You don't forget something like that. Every paycheck, we put money away. But because of Wall Street greed, Boom, it was gone. But Tammy Baldwin saw what they were doing and wrote a bill to save our retirement. Then she fought like hell to pass it. What Tammy Baldwin did for our families, you don't forget something like that. I'm Tammy Baldwin and I approve this message. Tens of millions of roofs across America are failing, wearing out decades early and leaking, oftentimes without you knowing about it, causing tremendous damage. Here's how you know you have a problem with your roof. Black streaking, your roof looks rough, or granules shedding off into your gutters or showing up in your driveway. Your roof is wearing out too fast and it's going to cost you a bundle. RoofMax makes your roof like new by strengthening and rejuvenating it. So give us a call and we'll give you a free assessment to see if your roof qualifies. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. Welcome back. The Wisconsin State Fair announced their main stage lineup today. The State Fair starts August 1st and it goes through August 11th. So some of the acts on August 2nd, singer Jordan Sparks takes the stage with other musical talents. Comedian Charlie Barons will be performing on August 8th. And then on the 10th, rock and roll artist, foreigner and singer songwriter, Melissa Etheridge. For more information, just head to the Wisconsin State Fair website. Well, as temperatures warm up, the Monarch butterflies will soon be returning from their wintering grounds down in Mexico. That's why the UW-Madison Arboretum is asking people for help in researching them. The Monarch Larva Monitoring Project is looking for citizen scientists to sign up. Anyone involved would be watching for monarch caterpillars. The organization says it's a great way to reconnect with nature. They go out weekly monitoring in the summer season um, for us up here in Wisconsin. Um, includes going out and looking at the monarch um, host plant, milkweed, and counting the number of eggs and larvae or caterpillars that are on that plant. An online training session for the project will be available next week on April 18th. Anyone who signs up will learn how to collect data on monarchs and their life cycles from start to finish. The Memorial Union Sunburst Chairs will be making their debut one week from today. On April 17th, 2,000 chairs will be placed out in the morning. Later that, that afternoon, the union will host an opening of the terrace, a party from 4 to 6 o'clock. Then at 7 o'clock, guests can attend an open mic night hosted by the Wisconsin Union Directorate Music Committee and Moda Magazine. The Wisconsin Union held its first full terrace season in 1929, and today the space welcomes almost one million people every year. Well, tomorrow may be a little noisier than usual. The statewide tornado drills will take place across Wisconsin. According to Wisconsin Emergency Management, the drills will take place tomorrow 1.45 in the afternoon, then also 6.45 in the evening. Schools, businesses, and homes are encouraged to practice going to their nearest shelters during the drills. Now, the ideal shelters for tornadoes, of course, include a basement, a ground floor interior room. Dane County Emergency Management did announce that county sirens won't be a part of it as they have already been tested. So enjoy this weather today. Tomorrow, you may just need that umbrella. Alex, now with a complete forecast. Yes, you will need that umbrella and you might <laughs> struggle to use that umbrella too because it's going to get pretty windy out there. But nonetheless, pack the umbrella for your Thursday. It'll be a rainy one, breezy on your Friday, but dry. And I can guarantee you a warm weekend is ahead for us all. So if you have outdoor plans this weekend, Get ready to do them. 66 right now in Madison, that's pretty popular. 66 in McFarland and in Stoughton, but still hanging on to near 70 degrees off towards the north and towards the west. Towards the Wisconsin River Valley, they still got 71 in Boscoville, 69 in Camp Douglas, and 67 in Monroe. Overnight tonight, temperatures very mild, clouds on the increase, not expecting rainfall tonight, so you'll wake up to quiet conditions on your Thursday morning for the most part, but then things will get a little bit more revved up in the afternoon with showers developing a clap or two of thunders not out of the question temperatures in the 50s well that weather system right now is well off towards the south and towards the west as we speak right now over portions of oklahoma and texas that's where that upper area of low pressure is and that's going to be moving off towards the north and towards the east it's got quite a few miles to make it 800 miles away but it's going to be here by the time we get to this time 
tomorrow. And with that comes the shower chances. All right, starting off 12 o'clock midnight, quiet, temperatures in the 50s. You wake up to about 45, 46 degrees, so a mild start. Generally cloudy, but the rain will start to fill in as we head towards the lunch hour, especially for Madison and points off towards the east. And a couple scattered showers and thunderstorms developing as we head into the afternoon hours. Most widespread, 6 o'clock around your Thursday. Staying widespread during the evening hours, and then as we head through the early hours on your Friday morning towards 6 o'clock, those rain showers will be out of here. So that morning commute on your Friday at this point in time is looking dry. Overall amounts 10 to a quarter of an inch widespread. There will be some pockets that don't get any rain, and then there'll be a couple of pockets that sees upwards of about a half inch of rain, but that should be pretty isolated. At this time, tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, we should be clocking those wind gusts about 20 to 25 miles per hour here in Madison and over parts of southwest Wisconsin. And then those strong gusty winds are going to sweep in from the north and from the west as we carry on through the rest of your Thursday night going on into your Friday. Look at some of those wind gusts approaching 35 miles per hour in Lone Rock at midnight. As we start off your Friday, get ready to hold on to your hats. I want to bundle up a little bit too with those gusty winds and temperatures in the 40s. It's not going to feel very pleasant, but by the time we get later into your Friday afternoon, those winds will start to lessen up hour by hour. And by the time we get to the weekend, it is looking fantastic. 70 degrees, sunny skies on your Saturday, a slight chance of a storm on your Sunday with high all the way up to 76 degrees, staying mild, staying actually a bit on the humid side, relatively speaking, for this time of year, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The first one weather team, we're tracking the possibility of thunderstorms, and some of those could be on the severe side. Speaking of severe weather awareness week, just a little bit of information. What is the EF scale that stands for the Enhanced Fujita Scale, formerly known as the F scale, the Fujita, the Fujita Scale, which was developed by the renowned scientist Dr. Ted Fujita. It ranges from a scale of zero all the way up to a five. Zeros and EF ones are the most common tornadoes that we see in the state of Wisconsin and in the United States. Wisconsin hunters can now apply for this year's elk hunt. Wisconsin residents can purchase an elk license application online through the Go Wild License Portal or in person at a licensed sales agent. The application fee is $10 and is limited to one per person. New this year, the Black River Elk Range will be open to hunting for the first time since elk were reintroduced to the state. Applicants are required to select between the Black River Elk Range or Clam Lake Elk Range when applying. If selected in the drawing, an elk hunting license costs $49. Winners will be notified by early June. Well, the Milwaukee Bucks have just three games left before the playoffs after beating the Boston Celtics last night. And tonight, they take on the Orlando Magic on Television Wisconsin. The Deer play the Magic for two of their final three games of the regular season. Right now, the Magic are just two games behind the Bucks for the two seed. This is also Milwaukee's final home game for the regular season. Tip-off is set for 7 o'clock. Tune in to Television Wisconsin over the air on Channel 3.2. And speaking of the Bucks, coming up in sports, Giannis out the rest of the regular season, but why the results of the MRI was good news. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. April showers bring May flowers. But do your tire gutters risk basement flooding? To the rescue, Fry Construction. Our absolute gutter system is custom fabricated on site for a perfect seamless fit. It's engineered to outperform. Looking for a break in the clouds? How about a sunny 24% discount on our absolute gutter system? To get this deal, visit FryConstruction.com today to schedule a full roof replacement. Go long. It's a championship lawn. Be ashamed if some weeds took the title. <laughs> nice hit, Johnson. Are you sick and tired of your lawn getting sacked by weeds? Then sign up with Weed Man to help you achieve a lush, green lawn that stands up to weeds. Did I mention that it was kid and pet friendly? Tackle weeds on your home turf with Weed Man. Call or click today. This day and age, we spend way too much time scrolling. Instead, join us for some horseplay at the Midwest Horse Fair. 
Check out insane tricks, hundreds of horses, clinicians, amazing eats, and spectacular shopping. And entertainment like you've never seen, IRL. Sorry, ask your kids what IRL is. It's the great Midwest. Join us at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, April 19th through the 21st. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. When Wisconsin football is at its best, the defense is usually one of the top units in the country, and leading the way are the Badger outside linebackers. Well, this offseason, that room added a couple new faces in Leon Lowry and John Pius, two guys that have already made their mark this spring. And what's brought them together so fast is simple. They just want to get after the quarterback and be the reason UW wins games. You know, what was that, 2017, where we went 12 and 0 or something like that? And, you know, the outside backers were that. You know, so I feel like we got to get back to get back to that standard of undefeated teams and the best defenses in the country that like we have been in the past. Like this position group has to rush rush the passer well, get to the quarterback, stop the run, and be physical and uh, just be the best players out on the field. I just want to win. So like, I just like feel like every time I step on the field, I feel like I'm I could be one of the best players on the field. Like I want to want to bring this team a championship. The Packers will make league history when they kick off their season against the Eagles in Brazil as part of the NFL's 2024 international games. The game itself will be the first ever regular season game played in South America. Green Bay and Philly will open up week one on Friday, September 6th, exclusively airing on Peacock. Last night when Giannis went to the ground grabbing his leg, you could hear a pin drop at Pfizer form. And immediately every Buck fan started looking up things on WebMD and fearing for the worse with the playoffs right around the corner. Well, after an MRI, Giannis got the best case outcome, confirming the diagnosis of a left calf strain. He'll miss the final three games of the regular season. And we're under 60 days away from the American Family Insurance Championship teeing off at University Ridge. And it's official, Steve Stricker will be back to defend his title. The 2023 AmFam champ committed to play in this year's tournament, along with his friend and fellow Wisconsinite two-time champ, Jerry Kelly. The AmFam champ runs from June 7th through June 9th. Kind of golfing weather right now, too. Today, at least yeah. for today. Tomorrow might be a little Tomorrow's challenging. No. Tomorrow's no. Might be like and Caddyshack. Then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think Friday's going to be that much better. It's going to be pretty windy on your Friday. But this weekend, go for it. 70 on your Saturday, 76 on your Sunday. We stay warm and going out into next week. But with that, we're going to have shower and thunderstorm chances. And some of those yeah, storms nice. could be on the severe side. We're keeping an eye on the potential for alert days. 56 for a high temperature on your Thursday with those scattered rain showers. Not everyone will see them, but we all stand the chance of getting wet. Most places 10 to a quarter of an inch, but a couple of places could get an isolated half inch amount. But there's more rain in the forecast. Like I said, next week's going to be rainy and stormy. So get ready for that after the beautiful weekend ahead. All right, Alex, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Have a great evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.